Hi, this is TH again, and Nils, and we are standing on top of our porch demonstrating for Solar Cities and for Simama and our friends down in Makuru in Nairobi how we are experimenting with biogas. You just heard actually something interesting. I think my son is taking a bath. Whenever we take a bath, whenever we wash our dishes, whenever we wash anything in the sinks or the tub, the water gets pumped up, the soapy water, through that filter there and into this big tank. This is our gray water system. We use this gray water then to flush our toilets because it's a crime to use drinking quality water, which so few people have in the world, to flush your feces down the sewer. So we use Gebrauchtwas, our already used water filled with soap. That water also has nutrients in it, the soap, which is made of fatty acid chains, and that can help feed the biodigester. So it does go into this radiator solar hot water system that we built. This is just an old radiator that we put into a box made of scrap wood and put a plate of glass over. We painted it black and it has a thermostat in it. Biogas needs to be hot. It needs to be body temperature, 37 degrees. And while the shower water sometimes comes out at the right temperature, by the time it gets here, it's cooled off. We want to make it nice and hot, particularly here in Germany. So what we do is we have that gray water piped into here. It's filled this up. There's a 12 volt pump behind this and a solar panel. When the sun is shining, this produces electricity that turns on the pump. But the pump won't go on unless the thermostat says that this radiator has reached 37 degrees for body temperature. Then it turns on the pump and it pumps that nutrient rich gray water into the biodigester. This biodigester is built from the same tank as the gray water system, a standard HDPE tote tank. That's a 750 liter, this is a 1,000 liter tank. They're shipping container tanks, and you can buy them used for about 100 euro. And then I've put styrofoam insulation and wrap, that same plastic wrap they do at airports for luggage, to hold the styrofoam on with a little bit of duct tape. That gives me good insulation. We call this our sacred cow. This is, imagine, the stomach of the cow. This is the cow's mouth. This is the cow's throat goes down through into the bottom as the esophagus of the cow into the stomach. The cow then, as it drinks water and food, which we put in, and we're going to show you that in a second, we pour the food in, it goes down into the stomach, and then the cow has to take a pee. The extra water, which is fertilizer, comes out here, and it goes into this gas collector chamber. We'll talk about that in a second. So the cow has a mouth, a throat, an esophagus, a stomach, and a urethra for its fertilizer pee. Cows also fart. So this is the anus of the cow over here. And in general, um, let's see if I, well, here's some of the gas that I've stored. Oh, you hear that? Yes. You see the flame? Can you blow that out? <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to demonstrate that, yes, it is a, can you see that on the camera? Very difficult to see. Okay, but you, we'll take another look here. You can see that, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. That's biogas. It's just natural gas, and what I'm doing is allowing that gas to go in here. This is my gas collector. It's a very simple system. It's just a 500 liter tank of water with a 300 liter tank floating upside down. Now, because the 300 liter tank doesn't fit all the way into the 500, I stuffed some styrofoam in the top so that I can push all the gas out. So I only get about 200 liters of gas with this system, but it works with available materials. You can buy a 500 liter tank anywhere, fill it with water, take a 300 liter tank, turn it upside down, put it in, and put a hole, an anus if you like, on that too. So what's happening here is the gas from this cow is farting out the anus and it's filling this tank and this is lifting up as it fills with water and then when I use the gas it goes back down then I fill it again the next day and then it goes back down but then a thought occurred to me why just waste having a 500 liter tank of water when I can get bacteria in there and they can do some work too so I put my food in here and then the food waste being partially digested the fertilizer we talked about comes out the urethra and goes into the water here and the bacteria can keep munching on it. 
And if I really want to get a lot of gas, I can feed these bacteria also through this pipe. So I can feed both. And that way I can get two times the amount of production. So that's the most complicated way to do it. Naturally, if you want to do it in a place like Makuru, you just do two tanks, one mm. to hold the bacteria, one to collect the gas, and you're done. Mm. It's that simple. 